Fucking technical difficulties! Ah, oh, Everything sucks forever! Where is my remote? See... I can't blame the technical difficulties though, I mean not being ready, but you know, that that's just a thing that happens. But yeah, things happen. I'm 27 minutes late starting my own 100th episode. Whatever. It is what it is. Welcome, one and all, to That Thing I Do on the Weekends. And this is a special episode, because... Not because it's Saturday. Not even because it's the first Saturday that I'm not doing Armored Core. But because my controller's not wanting to work. What? Oh, here we go. Ah! Everything wants to fail and suck! Okay. Either way, whew, I have a couple of discs that I have been sitting on for a little while, and I have been wanting to play them a bit, and Elgato disagreed. OBS started. OBS was taking sources, was able to create scenes, was able to do things in OBS, but Elgato's like, fuck you and your fun! And you know... The rest is history. But, nevertheless, OBS, I mean, Elgato has decided to agree, and now I can sort of stream, you know, for the next couple minutes, I don't know, until it decides to have a stroke again. Ugh. But frustration aside, ugh. I am going to be running this stream a bit longer today, because why not? And because I have these demo discs. And here's hoping it actually plays right on this machine. For some reason, it wasn't playing right on the PS2. This is a PS1 demo disc. And I haven't fired it up in forever. I'm not sure what's even all on it. I, I don't really know. It's been forever. Ugh. So either this is going to be a... Ooh, shutting up. Oh, this is promising. This disc is... This one is pretty scratched up. The other one's in excellent repair. Okay. Is this skippable, is the thing? The uh, skipping you're seeing is not the stream. It is, in fact, the disc. It is spazzing on my display as well, so hopefully it'll stop having its little stroke. Everything's bad forever. I fired it up on the PS2. It was working on the PS2, but for some reason in the PS3 it's wanting to do this, and uh, I don't know. I don't even know if it'll be playable on the PS2. The PS2 was being a dick with the Elgato, and Elgato was just Elgato was like, nope, to hell with your fun. You can eat shit. Come on. One FMV. You can do one FMV. It's like I was going to say something about walking into light, but holy shit, I do not want my console to die on me right now. That'd be the worst irony. Um, But yeah, this is a... Uh, PlayStation Underground CD. Um, it's weird to say CD at that, too. I'm used to saying DVD or Blu-ray, but... Yeah, it is... I saw it listed as a PlayStation Underground 3 Disc 2. It's a Disc 2, that's all I know. It's got Ape Escape on the front of it, and I don't even know what's, what its contents are. But, you know... This does not instill confidence! Let's see, screen mode. I do not want to reset the game because it is... I don't think it's going to pass. Let's see what happens when I eject it. Okay. 
Plan B. Everything's falling apart this day. This day. This is just what the hell. Been streaming for six minutes, and this damn disc has decided no. You can't have your fun. Ugh. This disc is not in great shape, though. But it did fire up. I know the first demo that it was uh, going to display was uh, Boom Jammer Lammy or Um Jammer or whatever. So let's try this one more time. And if this does not work, then I try it in the PS2, which may end the stream because Elgato. Hmm. Error occurred during the start operation. No shit. Wish I knew where my rubbing alcohol was. Get that thing good and clean. Alright, take two. This is where it started freaking out. Which would be better if you could skip this. Please tell me I just decided to drop FMV and just cut straight to the games, because that would be dope. That would be great. This is an improvement. Oh, well. That works. Let's see, what we got? Ah, Air Guys. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the first one! Now, the real thing is going to be, how many of these will even work? Final Fantasy VIII, what was this other one again? Soul of the Samurai, I don't even recall what that game is. Uh, let's see, Ape Escape? Free Extreme! I remember that game in name only, and MLB 2000? Well, there's a demo I won't be playing. <laughs> okay, some video from Tokyo Game Show. That. What's in the... Triangle thing to see. Some alphas, a uh, video of Jet Moto 3. And that's it. Okay. Hmm. I feel like I'm walking on digital eggshells. This is, um. This is so weird. Just not knowing if this thing will even be able to start any of the games. So let's. Let's, uh. If I did the FF8 one, that would take quite a while. And I know nothing about Soul of the Samurai. There's one demo I'm obviously going to want to play before the end of this, but let's start with this, just to see if it even starts. Okay. The L1's run, change item, lock, run lock. I'm going to forget all of these controls. Jump, attack, item, weapon, ready and away. Jump, attack, item, ready. I'm trying to get it ingrained in my head. Okay. Woo! Probably should have had my cell phone ready to take a photo of that so I could just reference the controls at any time. Okay. Right. Well, there you go. We got a repeat of all this stuff. This font is familiar. I mean, it's because Konami, they. Oh, okay. Um. Hmm. from back when Koanami actually gave a shit. Oh, another FMV. You got me instantly worried that this will even function.
What the hell did I just watch? I got like a vibe of Tekken, but bad. And the guy on the hillside, it's like my first thought looking at that sword was, is that an erection? And, oh no, that's his sword. He's not happy to see me. Okay. Um, I... Let's see. Come on. Options? Oh, I guess it's not going to let me in the options. So let's see. You'd think there'd be something you could, you could change in there. Ugh. I don't even know what kind of game this is. Although, that gives me the worry of tank controls. The way she's running, the angles. The pixels the size of pennies. I mean, who agitate my dots? Oh, Kotaro. What's this? I... The hell? Okay, so Wandering Stranger comes in, sees a bunch of people attacking someone. Grown men to picking on a child? Here, baby, I'll lend you a hit. What? <laughs> okay, I already don't like this guy. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's. Oh, oh, that's 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 promising. Oh, this this controls like ass. Okay. Wow, this is like. A Roomba with a sword. That is what this feels like. Whoever you are, I don't recall asking for your help. I'm... Okay. Oops. Shouldn't have treated you like a child. Relax, I just don't like bullies. I'm not interested in kids. Oh, that's reassuring. Lady, what did you do to get the authorities on your tail? I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to chat. And then they slowly hover in my general direction. I had to hurry. All right, maybe we'll run into each other again. Full disclosure, I am not a voice actor. <laughs> okay, so we've got a Ronin and a Ninja. Ronin. Ninja. Ronin. Ninja. Not Ninja. Not Ronin. Asshole. Not a child. Okay, I'm going with him. Kotaro Hiba. Oi, Kotaro! Okay, Kotaro Hiba, a masterless samurai in training, is uh, makes his return to visit his parents' graves. On arrival, he's caught up in a deadly incident with a young girl in the law. The Ronin makes his way to a Bushido dojo to meet. Yukinosuke Koizumi, a childhood friend. Is it weird that the English words are the ones that are the ones that are giving you pause? Ugh. Oh no, this is Okay, I can't help but feel the analog stick should be on right now, so let's see. Other settings. Controller settings, let's see. Analog mode, okay. D -pad. Oh, here we go. Oh, D pad allows running. Uh, stick allows running, okay. Pre rendered background. Oh, God, that jump. That is so bad. Yeah, let's just uh, run this real quick. Aha! Oh! Oh, for a second, I thought I decapitated him. What the hell? Trying to get my Roomba man over there. These are the... These controls are the worst. It's just like... Now, when I press the opposite direction, he, he turns in place and then goes. There's so much time wasted there. This feels so bad. I, I, I'm not sure I should continue saying that thing about back when Konami, Konami actually cared about gamers, because 
What the hell? Oh. I probably shouldn't hit circle. But let's see. And what is this music? It's like... What is this, like, grunge meets traditional Japanese in a blender? I mean, ew. Okay, he's got a sack. Okay. Obtained heal herb. Not anywhere near as nice as the face herb. It's a little wrestling humor. You're welcome. Because I'm kind of shit at it. Okay, so you have to press the attack button over it. Uh. Oh, this is so bad. It's like Samurai Resident Evil, but awful in every imaginable way. <laughs> so I know a game I need to look up a price for. <laughs> this would be a dumb one to hop into. There should be a back door somewhere. Hmm. Let's see. The hell? Okay, maybe back in the uh, alleyway I just passed a minute ago? With these guys. Where those guys were. Oh. Oh, in a lot of games, the tank controls kind of follow along with your, your direction of input, but when the camera changes, it just forgets and just shifts it your character does not m maintain his direction he maintains the absolute direction of your stick or he tries to and it's just it's like was this was made after resident evil 2 i think so it's like they had they had some reference come on okay what is this music this is not about to turn into a Samurai porno, is it? Yukinosuke, look who's back! Okay, give me a bit. What? You killed some lawmen? I don't care who they were in the wrong. I don't care who. Okay, well, I'm. A button impulse. A a X, I suppose, on this control. Something about their eyes was odd. I must have imagined it. Well, I see you haven't changed your ways much. This old dojo hasn't changed much either. You remember how you and I trained together? How could I forget those days? Oh, come on. I'm bored of just practicing. Come on, Yukinosuke, I'll take you on. We can't, Kotaro! Master, your master will be angry with us! Oh, this is so bad. I, I just... It's so slow. Nobody's watching. Come on, it'll be alright. Oh, okay. Just this once, though. Cave like a meringue in an earthquake. Okay, R2... The hell? Let's see you parry. Block an attack, and press the attack button. How do you... I forgot how you block already. I... That was... R2, that was bad. You two stop! You pups are far from ready! So don't even let them practice, you know, because... the hell? I shouldn't have hit R2 there. It clearly said what it did on there. That was all on me. That was dumb. Uh, the classic anime dot dot dot. Hey, Yukinosuke, are you even listening? Hmm? What? What do you mean, what? I said, I'm going up to the graveyard to pay my respects. The graveyard? You mean to go to the temple? What are you flustered about? Is something wrong at the temple? No, no, uh, you just came back. What's your hurry? That doesn't sound suspicious at all. It's 
one of those things you do first. Duty calls. But, but I won't be long. Have the sake out. We need to catch up. Okay, one of the Hugas has come in. Oh, Oda. That's, um... Okay. Kotaro Hiba, when did you return? Ryu Oda, the military scholar. Still the same, I see. You two finally decided to serve Lord Tojo? Not on your life. Why are you men- why are your men acting so aggressively? Hope you're not firing them up for another war. The age of the sword has ended. My parents died in a war. They would have enjoyed hearing that. Snarky bastard. Lord Tojo has summoned you. Please get ready now. Yes, right away. Oh. By the way, Yukinosuke, how have things gone since... I get the odd headache, but otherwise I'm fine. I knew you would not disappoint. Lord Tojo shall be pleased. Endure a little longer and be rewarded with fantastic power. Oh, come on. Kotaro Hiba has come back. Yes, he left to visit the graveyard. The temple? Hmm, that is amusing. Kotaro. Oh, what the actual hell. Okay, what? Where the hell am I even going? I mean, apparently not jumping anyway. Just... What? Oh my god, it. The cuts! Okay, instead of dawdling, I better get to the temple. Okay. It would have probably been beneficial for me to learn how to parry. It would definitely be beneficial for me to learn how to block. Oh, here we go. R1. Well, no parry, but, you know, gets the point across. Well, that's quick enough. No, you sit that you sit your ass down. And so you can stand up. Whee! Oh. I... What was the point of that musical stinger? What... Who, are, who the hell are these guys to compare to anyone else? The, he just went down in three hits. He ain't shit. He ain't special. He blocked. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. Something wrong with these castle lowmen. They feel wrong even through the sword. This is creepy. Oh boy, my uh, mind control slash evil demon -y magic senses tingle. What the fuck? What the f fuck is? Did he just? Did he just puke out a pile of monster dicks? What were those? <laughs> okay, focus. There's no escape. Die. Who goes there? Yeah, they're getting the same voice because they get the same model and because I'm too lazy. God, their heads are gigantic under those hats. Not really a complaint, but, you know, model limitations. Ugh, this just isn't my day. What the hell is going on in this game? Okay, block. Whoop! 
Oh, man. That's one down, I think. Yep. Okay. Had to use that healing herb, but, you know, do what I can. Now let's see what the literal basket case has to say. Are you all right? Th thank you. I... What the hell? My sword shall taste your blood, too! Those freaking eyes, that M. Bison face this guy's got on. It's like, come on. What? All of a sudden, I'm in, like, full fighting game mode. He's not even trying to face me right now. The hell? Oh! Block? Okay, whatever that is, it's unblockable. Unless it's like a parry or just defense kind of thing. I'm sure there's more advanced moves than what I'm doing here. Okay, obtained Monohoshizao. I have no idea what that means. Unless it's like his sword or something, I don't know. Oh! Hold on! No, I'm doomed. Please, I need you to... The money is in the... Ah. What's this? Give it to, to to my colleagues. Colleagues? This fiefdom bugs. Blah. Bugs. Oh, are those what the stork code letter? Okay, so what the hell? That was your demo. That was your demo, you assholes. You absolute dicks. Okay, let's see. I... You absolute dicks. And it gets even better because I can't back out of the demo, but, you know, that I can kind of understand. So let's do reset game and hope that I can get to the one that I wanted to play, because... That was a half hour of... I... I don't even... What did I just play? It's like... It felt like bad Resident Evil with samurai and also dick bugs. Because I still... I still don't know what the hell that was that that dude just puked out a minute ago. Please... Please just get to the menu. That would be... That would be great. Quit gyrating in front of the door. Quit. Quit it. Quit it. Go. And he's either going to get stuck here and I'm going to have to reset or... Oh, here we go. Come on. And I'm not playing the FF8 demo because... That one, if I remember, is long. It's been a long time since I fired this up. Um, let's see. The other disc, though, that I was... Oh. oh. There's sound effects in the disc. I thought something was beeping in my room. I don't know. The Soul of the Samurai. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up, because that, that looks like a romp through, like, literal hell. Uh... Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, as much as I want to play a good game. <laughs> that seems like a fun one. I don't know about trying this. I'll give it a whack. And then I get onto Air Guys, because I really want to 
Okay, rhythm bar, button icons that can correspond to the PlayStation controller because it is a rhythm game. Okay. Do, 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 do. Pushing the corresponding buttons, heads, something. Okay, start. Another game I need to look up, but this one's not something I'd stream much of. NASCAR Rumble. I remember that game for some reason right now, and that game was it was dumb as hell, but it was fun. What? I don't even... <sighs> okay, let's see. There need to be more games nowadays that have that what-the-hell-that-I-just-watched feel from them. Okay, here we go, let's see. I vaguely remember this. Let's see. Okay. I'm really messing something up here. Just wow, that's that kind of sucked. Quite understanding something here. Am I only supposed to be pressing on the second, or just the, or the first and second when? Okay. Well, that was um what a nightmare. Nightmare indeed. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to give that one more crack and get on to the next demo afterward. Um game. Hello. Or not. So yeah, that game's all like, you know, you failed, so F you get out. Ape Escape just seems like, you know, too easy to pick. So yeah, here's this one. Now, this is a memory. Okay, let's see. Air Guys, God Bless the Ring. Final Fantasy plus weird fighting arena fighting thing. Crazy, okay. Jump on the left shoulders, guard on the right. High, low, special. Okay, you got two high attack buttons, that's weird. Okay. Let's see if it has the opening video. or any video at all. Green Factory, There's, they're familiar, I don't... Oh. Ah! 
Oh my god! Hey, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, normally I shut up through FMVs, but damn. Okay, context, please. And Shinobi's back. <sighs> so much guitar, damn it, 90s. Okay, let's see what we got. Battle panel, I can't remember if that's the RPG mode or what, but whatever, I'm gonna stick with arcade mode, I'm gonna keep it simple. Oh god, I hated that sound effect. Let's see, oh. Oh god, I forgot about his him. God hand anyone else playable? Nope, doesn't look like. Okay, interlacing. Whoa, here we go. Whoa, this is Whoa! There's got to be something doable about this video, because what the hell? This is like the most interlaced. Oh, here we go! Bringing a gun to a fist fight, okay. Well, that one was easy enough. Let's see how, how much arcade mode you get. Okay, this is a game that I feel an emulator is almost... almost necessary. That interlacing is just... what the hell? Get off me. Worst cop ever with your stupid yo-yo. I mean, not the worst cop ever, but damn. Oh, come on! She's kicking my ass now. Okay, move! You win! I hate that. Oh. I want to punch the announcer just for making noises. Come on! Oh, right, I forgot the guard button was a thing. Yeah, it's been a while since i played this. I mean, years a while. I love demos, though, because, you know... It's try a little popcorn experience, you know? If you don't like it, then you just move on. This guy wants to be Kazuyo Mishima so bad. Okay. Oh, crap, I forgot. Yeah, Cloud... I even mentioned the FF7 tie-in stuff in here, but, you know, I just completely forgot that Cloud was in here. Stand up. Oh, wow, that is... Holy crap, do those ever seek. Okay, now how do I get more of that meter? Because I don't think <laughs> that was uh, probably not the best thing to do, just to w w run completely out of me meter. Whoa. Focus. Ha! <laughs> Kick him where they're down. Fighting games need to have that back. What the hell, games?
Like, if so worried about sportsmanship, you know, have an eSports mode where that's disabled. But, you know, for us casuals. Wow. Oh, man. It's a good thing I actually have a full full copy of this. <laughs> oh, wow. Will this one let me quit back to the title? I still can't believe that one intro video is like the barrier intro to this. The stupid PS Underground robot or whatever. I mean... So much fun! Oh god, that's... that's so... loud. You know what? One more. Just... A little flashback. Because I remember the Tony Hawk games, you know. Okay. Holy shit, I forgot about all the buttons. And do this, and then I have a PS2 demo disc to give a spin to, so... Let's see. Turn, leaning, uh, spin. Huh. Yeah, that's gonna take a bit of getting used to. I'm gonna, don't, I'm gonna, the face buttons are the ones that are gonna throw me. Let's see. Jump, grind. Okay, so you gotta remember not to hit the circle button very often, and let's see, kick. There's an interesting story about this game and its uh, formation. I think it was uh, that it was formed off of um, like an old Bruce Willis game. Um, God, I can't remember the name of it. It wasn't a Die Hard thing, but it, it actually had Bruce Willis in the game. And, um, yeah, there's like, there was like even a, like, early alpha model in there of, um, of a character. It's like, um, they named him Bruce. They just left him named Bruce from the uh, previous assets. And I'll just sleep. I'll stick with talk. But, um, yeah. It's all because of some other. Oh, wow. Here we go. Oh, and already on my face. Yep, and spin a little bit. Oh, and quite line that back up. Oh, nice. Oh, yep. Okay, I think I can get the hang of this again. Except for the, you know, grinding part. What part do you... Okay, jump. Ah, there we go. There's a little bit of grinding. Okay, and a little bit more over... Yeah, that was way too late. Okay, and I knew that was going to be bad. Oh, shouldn't have. Nice having those little videos in level two. Little visual flair there. Oh. Let's see, the impossible. Double heel flip. And... Okay. And I know they... Oh, there we go. Yep, that's enough of that game. Uh... <laughs> okay, so let's see. The other one. Now, to see if the 
Elgato actually decides to play nice. Okay. Because I am going to try something I've done once. Butt plugging. Get. Almost. Okay. Now it says no signal. Okay, I'm still seeing no signal on my monitor thing. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Now is the Dragon Quest thing in? No. Now, unlike, unlike the last demo disc, this one is in immaculate order. Because even though its case is dingy, the disc is flawless. I have never played this disc. If I recall, I got it with a Shonen Jump back when I still read those things. Is Shonen Jump even still a thing here in the States? I mean, shit. I remember there's so much One Piece, and it's like, no, just get this mental case out of my face. I just could not stand Luffy. Just... I don't know. I, I think it's just the, the Goku characters. The guys like Luffy and Goku that just drive me absolutely batshit. I can't stand them. Five levels. Also, uh, I've never played a Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior game. So, shutting up. Okay, I already love this music, this big, bold, brassy goodness. Um, whoa, two different modes. Okay, let's, uh... See, I know story mode's gonna take a little bit. And I'm really... The music, what the hell? Now that's a tonal shift. What is this? supermarket run sounding nonsense. Oh boy. Well, I know you're probably supposed to play story mode first so that you understand a thing, but I'm really curious about battle mode. Um... The hell with it, story mode. Let's explore the town of Fairbury and meet all its colorful characters. And that wonderful Toriyama style. Okay, am I already moving? Oh no, never mind. Oh, King Trode. Okay, that's an unfortunate name. Um, Master Rylus is the fellow who taught you that. Okay. I'm not even trying. Huh. Master Rylus is the fellow who taught that accursed dual Magus his magic. He might be able to impart some information to us about the whereabouts of that devious scalawag. Oh my god, that's killing my throat. <coughs> I want you to seek him out, Eight. What? Eight? Seriously? I'm sure he lives in, ta in this town. Okie dokie. Give you the buttons here. Is it on the back of the case either? No, it is not. Okay. Damn. Okay. Menu, cancel... Confir Whoa, that is a weird place for confirm and cancel to be. Okay. Menu map opposed. Confirm and cancel opposed. Ugh. Rotate view. Camera. Okay, let's see. Ooh, boy. 
action button. Use it for actions. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I like the feel of the camera. Uh, not sure about the stick. I think it's a little bit inverted, but you know, whatever. I'll take it. As a matter of fact, let's see. Okay, talk. So we're here to find that rather skeezer, right? Leave it to me. Finding people's my piece of resistance, as they, as they say. Oh boy. Let's see. Oh, there's that asshole. Uh, menu. See if I can change that setting. Let's see. Here we go. Widescreen. Good. So it actually fits. Okay. Okay, that's better. Let's see. Okay, a little bit of exploration here. Man, the graphics are really nice, I have to say. I mean... Okay. You'll never guess what. A horse-drawn wagon just passed by in here. There's a monster on it. Wait a minute, you're the people who came in with it. Okay. Yeah, piss off, bull cut. Let's see. Does this talk? Meow, so I'm gonna file that under ways so of maybe Armor Shop. How can I help you? You can't, because I have no money and I'm not gonna even do that prompt. Come looking for that key too. I knew it, it's written on all over your faces. Especially the stocky one. I don't think that's what's written on his face. Are you talking about me? What's this writing on my face, eh? You're thieves. You're looking for the thief's key. I could tell as soon as I laid eyes on you. Oh, you prick. Yeah, I think I'll uh, explore a little bit more of the bottom before I go up any stairs. Okay, stay away from this guy and... In case I trigger some stupid event where all of a sudden guards rush in because, you know, random weirdos behind me. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I tend to do that. Old man. Second time, you know. Second time I've lost a friend in a fire. If I remember rightly, the first time it happened, I was 30. You can never be too careful with fire, you know. Mm. <clears throat> Another shop, no doubt. Okay, shop, shop, guard. Hmm, travelers, are you? Well, welcome to Fairbury. I don't know what you're doing here, and I don't really care. Just keep yourselves to yourselves, and there won't be any trouble. That seems like a sensible man. Okay. Probably missing something really obvious, but what the hell ever. It's gonna stay where it stays. Going upstairs. Oh, hello. Can't see this guy's face. I don't even know what voice to give this guy. It's such a pity. Pity, pity, pity. Oh, sorry, listen to me. That jester who was here keep, kept saying that. It's become a bit of a habit. I think there's a little bit of reverb and... Oh. My mic. Yeah. i maybe turn my headphone volume down a little bit. Uh, let's explore the outdoor a little bit more. Not back there. Wait. Was there a spot back there? Nah. Nothing important. We'll wrap around here. Huh. This guy. Bard, I suppose. Probably should have marshmallows at his height. Overlooking, you know, that. La 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 la! Oh, Eve, I say, you're the fading light of day. Or the embrace of night. Nay, how you. Uh... Father, it's just not flowing today. Oh, well. So, anyway, have you seen that smoldering ruin down at. You ass. It's like. I could pee onto it from here. I could spit onto it. The old man who lived there was killed in the fire. Okay, that... 
that conversation end seemed a little bit sudden, but you know, whatever. Ooh, back alleys. No one back here? Seems almost... Oh, here we go. Use this colorful character. Oh my... Yeah, his face goes straight from brow to beard. What the... Oh, that was not what I wanted to do, but okay. Grab that. A leather shield, okay. Climb that real quick. Okay, now let's talk to this guy. Oh yeah, you can't beat a nice cold drink of water after a night on the town. What's that? You're looking for someone? Why don't you go to the pub then? There's nothing the barman can't don't know about this place. <laughs> okay. I think they were going for a more cottony accent, but you know. Didn't quite get that out of his first lines. Yeah. I always wanted to be a voice actor, I just would need multiple takes really badly. <laughs> okay, uh let's... Exploring door to door, I don't know how long that'll take. Oh! Locked from inside. I get more of that, it won't take long at all. Okay. <gasps> I saw it with my own eyes, the very night before the fire. Rylus was arguing with that jester. He sounded mighty angry, still up to your devious tricks, he said. Nothing of import here. Now let's check the bit. No, that's that's closed. So let's see that door. I'm trying to keep this systematic here, and I'm not really good at it. So let's see map. I my sense of direction I just remembered is terrible. Okay, so that house... I think this one's next. What the hell was I doing? Okay. Oh, that's the hub, so... Let's, let's hold off on that for a second, because... Yeah, plot advancement, probably. Okay, you... Oh, that's a Toriyama-ass design. Oh! What's your problem? What are you doing coming in the back way, yeah? The front door's around the other side! <laughs> you must be new to this game, huh? I knew it! How about I give you a few pointers to get you started? Wow, that sounds kinda asshole, Mike. <laughs> it's no good just having a load of weapons and armor knocking about in your bag. You've got to equip yourself with him. What's this guy's name? Gimp Suit Gary? I'm gonna call you Gimp Suit Gary. Mask's horny enough for it. Okay. Alright, Gimp Suit Gary. You do you. Okay, let's knock around the front way. Okay, now let's see what we've got. Welcome to the weapon shop! What can I do for you? Let's see. What do we got? What do you need? Oh. Yeah, weapons aren't too bad. Let's uh, quit out. Let's see... I'm going to completely forget which buildings I've been in, but yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead in here. Uh, so yeah, Shonen Jump. I th I got in like the fourth issue they had in the states, and oh, Gimp Suit Stew. Let's see, scroll around a little bit. Look at yeah, I think I got in like the fourth issue because of a high school. Um, High school friend, she had the 
She had the fourth issue, as a matter of fact. She introduced me to it, and it was these big, thick tomes of, uh, of manga, just like a little sampler thing, kind of. Like, you get a few chapters of one, a few chapters of another, and they continue on next month. Occasionally get like a Yu-Gi-Oh card or a Dragon Ball Z card in there. It was great. And then they started offering things like this demo disc, um, some other stuff. It's great, I kind of miss it, but there was so much One Piece and Bleach, I'm like, no, I don't care anymore. I have I have a crap ton of unopened ones still in there. The bags that I got them in in the mail, I should... I should check those out sometime, I don't know what to do with them. I have a whole bunch of wrecked ones, though. Have you heard about the fire we had in town the other day? Guess what? People are saying it was arson. Oops, that's a bit of a hot topic. They're not talking about it anymore. Okay. Oh, cute, cute pun. I takes me like a full three seconds to notice it, you ass. The miserable excuse for a fortune teller, that Calderasha. He was famous once, you know? They called him the Great Calderasha. Look at him now. His fortune telling's gone to pot since he started spending every day in here. The only glass he stares into these days is the one he drinks out of. No, oh, wait, a minute. It was the other way around. Maybe he started drinking after his fortune fortune telling went to the dogs. Hmm. Okay. Gimp suit stew. What about you? <laughs> Just the one I thought really. <laughs> It's the spot. So, uh, what do you want with me then? Uh, you looking for someone? Get out of here, why are you boring me with that rubbish? This is a pub. You're supposed to relax. You're too tense to have a drink of their oil on the battlefield. At least you can put your attention to good use out there. You know, if you suck yourself up enough, your attacks and magic will get more powerful. So save the fight, alright? Remember, increase your tension by psyching up. Decrease it by having a drink. <laughs> okay, that was annoying. Okay. Ooh, I love seeing new faces. You're not from around here, are you? Okay, I'm like, I'm gonna ham these voices for a minute. I'm just gonna blaze through. That little creature in your pocket, your pet? It's so adorable. What's its name? Munchie. A cute name for a cute little fellow. Well, Munchie, enjoy your stay. Um, getting Excel Saga flashbacks here. What was that thing's name? Minchi, though. Which, you know, also appropriate. I think it's like lunch in Japanese. Okay. Haven't you had enough, Mr. Calderasha, sir? <laughs> Oh, it's not going to go full autopilot. Okay. I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. This uh, haphazard fortune telling of yours is costing me a fortune in free drinks. What? My fortune telling? Haphazard? Are you a complete fool? Let me tell you something. All fortune telling is haphazard. What do you expect? So the point of fortune telling is to be half uh, to be half-assed. Good job. Anyway, so what if I saw it? So what if I foretold the fire? If I tried to stop it, then what? It would only have led to another disaster. That's what. I'm sorry, Mr. Calderasha, sir. I don't follow. You see, we were talking about your tab, not your, your fortunes. Now shut up and pay me. If you're saying you knew about the fire, shouldn't you at least have warned Master Rylus? Yes, poor Rylus. How many times I argued with the old man. I cannot believe he's gone. Okay, new info.
Okay, Master Alice died in a fire, got that a moment ago. So, maybe murdered in a fire, according to that guy. Let's see, what do you got? I already forgot my objective entirely. What? What is it? Yes. I need an adult. Oh, great bowl cuts back. Quick, quick. Everyone come quick. There's a monster in town. Just come and see. The whole town's gone crazy. Okay, one problem at a time. Monster first, then crazy town. Like, geez, you're getting ahead of yourself. How about you? What do you, what you got to say? I don't know, but, you know. I just realized I forgot to get coffee before starting the stream. Probably on account of all the technical difficulties. Okay. So, probably down there when I uh, get downtown... Okay. Oh, they're gonna be shitting themselves about the green dude. Let's see, where's downstairs? Is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, you get out of my way. What's your problem? Fires suck. The monster loose in town, and you know. You could get hurt if you get caught up in it all. You better not go down. Oh, shut up. Gotta find the back way down. Because of my awful sense of direction, it takes me this long to get to it. Running, running, running. Yangus. That is an unfortunate name. Yangus Trode. Okay. This ain't good, Gav. Come on. Look lively. And we even have a little caption for the off-screen orgy that's happening due to the, uh, the present furries. Because there's always a few in the bunch. Seems legit. Oh, look, a thing we don't understand. Let's throw rocks at it. How these things always start. Oh, they I always go. Okay, here we go. Well, that was a fine reception. <laughs> don't you realize who I am? Hmm. Judging a book by its cover. Don't they know it's what's inside that counts? Yeah, you can say that again. So then, did you manage to find Master Rylus? Okay. I mean, I guess? I just couldn't scoop enough of him up to bring back. 
What? He's dead? Oh, no, no, no! Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. It's Durmagus we're after. He's the one who cursed the princess and I, after all. He's the one who made us look so ridiculous. I had hoped Rylus might be able to help us locate him. Okay, so I'm assuming the princess is the horse? I... But it seems we'll just have to track Dulmagus down by ourselves. With Rylus gone, we have nothing further to gain from staying here. Let's be on our way! Wait! Please wait. I'm sorry to come running after you like this. It's just that I wanted to ask you a favor. Are you not afraid of me, young lady? I dreamt about you. I dreamt that some people came to town with a strange creature. It was sort of halfway between a human and a monster. Okay, so I had a feeling with the accent she's probably related to the fortune teller guy. And I dreamt that they could make wishes come true. <laughs> strange creature? Are you referring to me? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Not to worry. I've had worse things said to me today. You know, you remind me of my Medea. You're about the same age. I anyway, uh, you say you had a dream about me. Most peculiar. I'm sorry. I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Valentina, daughter of the great fortune teller Caldarasha. There's no joy in having called that. It was so heavily telegraphed. If you could just come to my house, I'll explain everything there. It's by the well, at the far end of town. I'll be waiting for you! What was she rabbiting on about? Come round my house, she says. Magnificent! She wasn't afraid to look at me at all, not one bit. Oh, she reminds me of my Medea. We must give this young girl a helping hand. Right then, my boy. Go and find the house by the well and see what it is she wants. Hmm? Me? I'll wait here with the princess. We don't want to cause any more of a stir. Okay, so I figured it was the horse, okay. It's mostly the eyes. Something by the eyes just seemed like this is an important character eyes. Okay. Okay, house by the well. Now I was inside a well earlier. I remember it's upstairs. I remember it's a dead end. Now let's see if I can actually find my way back. But first. I don't know why I didn't think to do this earlier, but you know, whatever. Zeldaing my way through places. <clears throat> I mean, and I haven't really said a whole lot because of all the cutscenes and stuff, but I mean, just these graphics, holy shit, is this game is very very vibrant and its presentation is really these these are great graphics for a PS2 game just for a game period it's it's great it's, it's great to look at when was this made here oh 2005 no wonder ah you came i'm so sorry I, I must have drifted off how rude of me i wanted to ask you a favor about this crystal ball Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Perhaps I should start from the beginning? I don't know, there's some pretty awesome movies that kind of start from the end and then, you know, wrap around 
to the beginning. Uh, Final Fantasy X starts kind of like toward the late middle and then wraps around to the beginning and goes... Uh, I'm rambling. Of course. Let me explain. My father, Galdarasha, was once a really famous fortune teller. Until he drank himself into a stupor. No. Lost treasure, missing people. <laughs> there was nothing the great Kaldarasha couldn't help people with. But then one day, he lost his powers. All of a sudden, nothing he foretold turned out to be true anymore. It's probably because he stopped using a real crystal ball. This glass ball isn't... <gasps> Valentina, what is going on here? How many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? What? Aren't you that boy from the pub? What brings you here? Gah, never mind. I do not know what my daughter has asked you, but you can forget it. I do not need your help. I am fine as I am. I am going to bed. Valentina, say your farewells and show our young visitor to the door. Seems like a cheery sort. Nice rosy hue to his cheek. I'm sorry about my father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? One that's big enough to bring back his powers? But not so big it's overcompensating? Really? You will? Oh, this is exactly how it all happened in my dream. Then why did you even ask, you asshole? If you knew if you know the outcome this this I Ugh. So far everything's come through. She could have even gone full architect, you know? There have been six previous ones. All that. Also dreamt that there's a crystal ball hidden deep inside the cave, under the big waterfall to the south of town. Dungeon, get! I suppose only the daughter of the great Kaldarasha could know a thing like that. Or any anime martial artist who's happened through the area ever. Okay, let me... Putting aside my PS3 controller for a second. Okay, drop the smart assery for a second. It's in here. Stuff. Waterfall is south of town, okay. Just repeating yourself there. Well, got me a mission. What's the it's in, can't interact with that bucket, so yeah. We're on our way! to her father. I'm impressed. Just how a daughter should be. And if this Kaldarasha gets his powers back, there's nothing he can't find, am I right? Then we'll kill two birds with one stone. If everything goes according to plan, we'll find out where that hateful Dulmagus is. Okay. The time's getting on. Medea and I will stay outside. That's the last time we set foot in a barbaric town like this. But you should spend the night at the inn and rest well, so that you're ready to take on the world tomorrow. In the morning, we leave for the Waterfall Cave! Woo! Frankly, I'm surprised they didn't uh, freak out about Yangus. I mean, you're talking about 
funky looking monster, man. I mean, what the hell's up with that guy? Little short cottony warrior dude. He's so dark I can't be sure, but I think the little man who came with slept in his wagon is like. Now the music's just gone full Toriyama, it's gone full Dragon Ball here. I need to look up a copy of this game. I know there have been ports of it. I'm curious what all systems it's come on now. Okay. Okay, it looks like the voice acting's gone. Okay, let's crystal ball. Let's see, Medea and I will be right behind you. If you have any trouble, feel free to consult us. I'm sure there's nothing we can't solve if we put our heads together. Away we go! Okay. You may take damage when battling monsters. So, yeah, okay. Gotcha. Cast spells MP. Two stage you run low. Press it in the end and try not to die. Gotcha. RPG classics. Let's see. It said Waterfall was south of town, was it? Oh, that cut was pretty quick. Okay, proper turn based, and wow, those I I just want to punch everything here. All of it. But mostly that weird satyr thing on the on the right. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's go with the satyr. I want to murder him. Let's see what the attacks do real quick. Ow, my Yangus. Quit blowing my Yangus! Okay, well he's out. Let's see. Okay, well we got no abilities yet for uh, eight. And no abilities for Mayangus. It's a low hanging fruit, but I don't give a shit. Okay, just whack the candy cat. In Soviet RPG land, candy cat licks you, I guess. Nice quick transitions into and out of battle. I like that. That's uh, it's worth it. What we got here? Let's see map. I don't possess a world map. What? Come on. What? Maybe I should have checked the stores in town a little better. But whatever. Moving on. Waterfall south of town, though they said. So let's see what we got. Just the hell with a beaten path. All right, time for some wild animal murder and goodness. That was a lot of damage. That was a lot of HP damage. I think I just took 17 point. Oh no, he's down to 17. Okay. Boop. Wouldn't say the exchanges here are exactly Final Fantasy 10 quick, but. Definitely got a speed up. Oh! Oh, welcome, King Thunder! Let's see. Yeah, um, don't feel too bad about being late. So was I. <laughs> Thanks to technical difficulties and my Elgato having a stroke. Um, hmm. So, yeah, really, this is like the second round of demo stuff. Um, I got through the PS1 disc fairly early. I just kind of powered through some of that. And playing with Mayangus. <laughs> the guy on the, 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 the horny guy is this weird cockney dude. He hasn't had much dialogue yet, so I don't know what to make of him yet. Yangus, and they just named the main character Eight for whatever reason, and hey, sheep! Murder sheep! Can I murder sheep? 
I can't murder sheep. Okay, the demo disc. Yeah, there were quite a few things. Um, oh, what the fuck is that? What the? No, murder, murder. Cannot murder fast enough. What the fuck? Um. Oh god. Um, PlayStation disc. Uh, yeah. There were a few things. Uh, three extreme and MLB game that I'm not touching on account of my absolute aversion to sports. Um, a very terrible samurai game called Soul of the Samurai. Uh, trying to remember, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater had a demo. That Um Jammer and Um Jammer Lammy that I can barely pronounce, let alone play. And uh, Air Guys, God Bless the Ring. And I think there was something else on there. FF8 and A Ape Escape. So, it's a good demo disc. When it actually started, because it's really scratched up and um, did not want to get past the opening FMV. So, but once it got in, it was great. It's, it's, it's not in, in good shape. This disc, on the other hand, is spotless. Ah, King Trode. Okay. Woo! Looks like we found it. Naturally, I'd love to come in with you, but I couldn't possibly put Medea in danger. I try harder with the voices, but my nose is just crap, and I'm about to have, have to fall asleep, so... Sinuses are a huge part of your voice. It's, it's surprising how much difference it makes. I'm sure you'll do a fine job, a fine job of finding the crystal ball without us. Eight will be waiting for you here. You be careful in there. So the talking booger is going to be staying with us, of course, while I go and pick on some monsters and go grab a fortune teller's ball. But only because his daughter asked me to. Just making sure I got the uh, quest details in hand. What the f Damn it, Dragon Quest! What the hell is that thing? That this is going to be a lot of me wondering that in this. I, I think I, I I I have no words. I mean, oh Zodiac Age, right? I'm gonna give this guy another whack while I read this. Okay, let's see. Huh. Balthier? I would've... Of course I didn't play terribly far in there, but I was more under the impression that uh, Bosch was... closer to Protag, but that being said, it sure as hell isn't ba Vaughn, and Balthier is pretty awesome, so... I could live with it either way. I remember Val ba Balthier and uh, Fran were, were just fun. Um... But yeah, I've got the original version of FF12, so I need to go through that at some point, but... Mm. I've had my eye on Zodiac Age, but it will not be the PC version on account of Denuvo. To hell with that copy protection. There's been too much evidence to be just completely disregarded about whether or not it damages your machine. So, the hell? Ooh, a dude. See what other hor okay moles and the little slime mascot thing. Ah, finished with Front Mission 3's Alyssa scenario. That demo disc, though, it's like... Okay, yeah, uh, let's see. Fight, what do we got for spells, items? Yeah, let's go with the uh, item on eight. Spells, no spells. No abilities. Eh. Oh, right, here we go. Let's uh, just attack th things with the Angus. But the uh, demo disc, though, for the PlayStation games, Alyssa scenario thing, kind of related. 
It's really surprising how much game you can get onto a CD. I mean, how much they did back then. Okay. They're beating my Yangus to a pulp here. I need to I need to wrap this up. Items I have one more medicinal herb. Use it on Yangus. Okay. They hit Yangus first and he's he's basically gone. Really nice though to have like two whole story scenarios in front mission. And in its case, I can kind of understand for the most part how they could get all that on there a little bit more easily. But um, it's still pretty awesome um, to have two really long campaigns in a single game. And that's one of the things I liked about Demo Discs. It was, it was actually kind of a surprise just to see how many different games they could get onto a single demo. And Demo Disc. And yeah. A mischievous Mole used Psych Up. Uh. Oh, Lukov didn't have a Neutron weapon. Alright. Okay, let's see. Where's my inventory? Do I have any more herbs or whatever? Unless I'm missing how to get to it? Okay. Okay, don't have anything to heal with. Okay. That's great. That's, uh... Please be a merchant. Okay, yeah, he's just come to explore. Chimera Wing. Is that going to be this game's equivalent to a Phoenix Down? Also, I have no idea how to go into inventory at all, so... Arrgh! Second to last FMV stuttered. Man. That's so aggravating when... when when the videos just like start freaking out. It's one thing when they just skip a little bit, but when they just completely spaz, it's really unnerving. Ooh, leather hat. Let's see, do I have any equipment to put on these guys? Let's see, he's got things, he's got a leather hat. Let's see, do I have anything? Okay. Okay, I have no idea how to get into the inventory and equip these guys, so let's see. I'm assuming it's from that prior menu, but I got I got no idea. Drackies? Okay, let's see. Huh. Okay. One of them didn't give. Two of them didn't give, give a shit. Two of them just spazzed out and started trying to kick my ass. That's uh, that's great. Okay, so is it murdering time or time to run? Bart's attacks in Xenogears. I'm trying to remember which one Bart is. Um, I know I watched far enough in the TFS's playthrough where I should know who that is. Oh, I hate running away in battles. I always did. Okay. 
I'm assuming that's back up. Waterfall. Let's see. Whispers about battle skills in Front Mission 3. Yeah, um... God, what was the, uh... The Arm Crush one, though, definitely had my interest, because, I mean... I kind of like disabling enemies in games. I, I really do. Okay, another mole, and what that fire thing is. Uh, let's see, attack the... Mole! The Naked Tonberry. But, uh, yeah. I have a feeling that I'm going to be trying to acquaint myself with the... Uh, skill system in Front Mission 3 pretty... Pretty soon, because that's um. Blonde, red jacket, white pants, black undershirt, and eye patch, and a whip. Okay. But yeah, the uh, skill system in Front Mission, I really can't say I remember all of it. I got the, uh, the gist of it. I'm kind of surprised they didn't do a tutorial in there, but, you know. Good thing they don't hold your hand the entire time. That's 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 really boring when games do that. And, and I just keep leading along. Oh, yay, level up. Mini heal, okay. Okay, so Yangus gets nothing, but you know, a few stats. But I mean, I'm, I'm in, in. Oh, this looks like a boss room as much as it possibly could. Um. Yeah, I don't usually like go full on disable mode with enemies in, in games, but I do. I do really like debuffs. Um. I was never the type to exactly play like a warlock in World of Warcraft, anything like that, but um. Yeah, if I can if I could blind someone in RPG, I tended to do so. Let's see spells. Where was that? Mini heal. Oh, no MP. Okay. Okay, he's about to die. The sultry dance. What the? F oh hell no. Yeah, he's getting murdered so hard. Or maybe not. Oh, that's uh that's great. Mm. Okay, what do we got here? Uh Oh, wow. I think I'm just down a man until I go back to town. Uh. Huh. Let's see what we got. Let's see, use that on Yangus here. Wait, what? I did not just throw that away, did I? Oh, here we go. I, I do not like this menu, I have to say. That's, um... I'm gonna need that, I think. Disable and slow are good, too. I don't remember disable all that well, but... Slow is always great. Let's see. Man that looked like a peddler came along earlier, but when he saw me, he ran away without saying a word. Anyway, as you've probably realized, you'll have to fight me if you want to go any further. What do you think? Brave enough for that, are you? Okay, well, I gotta find that peddler. Or get the hell out. 
Hmm. You know what? It's uh. Ugh, these these things. They run. Let's see if I can go on ahead and pass this guy. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna win against this guy. It was just one dude, but whatever. Oh, you cheeky little bastard. Ah, uh, Vaughn. Like, I vaguely remember the uh, village part. I think I stopped maybe a couple hours of gameplay after that and just never came back to the game. But, uh... Wow, Vaughn just never stops being a garbage character, does he? I mean, <laughs> he's just so loud and annoying. He just feels like he was just thrown in. Ew, what the hell? We got a puke puddle, a fire ghost, and a boot with some bizarre pube monster sticking out of it. What 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 the hell even is this? Um Yeah, I'm gonna run as much as I can for a little bit. Because I probably should have backed the hell out of this cave to begin with. Let's see what's this? Waterfall ahead, no littering. Let's see. Yeah, Vaughn and Pen Penelo, I, I've i seen the argument said before. I am pretty sure I'm in agreement with, with the people who've said this. I honestly think the game was written around all of the other characters, all that of a drama, and because of the Japanese audience, they wanted to put in their two young characters, so they just wrote them in a hurry and dropped them in the middle of it. You know, to hell with those two. They, they suck as characters. They are boring, especially Vaughn. I don't remember Pinello at all. I can't even say she's boring, I can just say she's unmemorable. She's really forgettable. Just... Why is she even there? Why are either of them even there? But the re oh. The rest of the characters are great. It's just... The, the younglings that suck. Catch the dancing bug. Is that some sort of weird cave demon STD? Ew. Oh, great. Run! Nope. Let's see if I can get out now. Okay. Yeah, I've seen the argument in Levy, though, before, that the entire rest of FF12 was supposed to be those other characters, and I I can't help but wish that that was the version we got with with, with Novon and Pinello, because, I mean, i just take a game about Balthier, just, like, just him and Fran, and their piratey antics. Okay, there's a lot of these dudes. I'm probably going to die here. Because I really screwed up at some point, I probably should have done some grinding, but... Hmm. If I ever pick this game up to do a full playthrough of... Hey! A possible crystal ball! And thus, possible boss, boss fight. Don't tell me that was... Damn it, moles! Okay, let's see. Yank the ball. Trigger. Inevitable boss fight. Eh. Okay. Wahaha! Surprise! Surprise! Oh, he's got Surprise! voice work. I am the master of this waterfall. Oh, how long has he been? How many people have gone and come in 
long years. And more, I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. So the left one, then. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the truement of Moose. Does this Bristol call crystal ball belong to you? Okay, if I answer him honestly, it's probably going to lead to a battle. Let's see. If I answer him not, then... No. But I was so you were the one. Oh, long, lonely years. My wait continues. The hell just happened? Okay, let's try this again, but hopefully with less weirdness. Let's see. What? You would live? I Oh yeah. FF twelve two. Instead, we get FF10-2 and, uh, you know, Pop Starlets versus... What the hell was their conflict again? Oh my god, I've forgotten the entire conflict of FF10-2. FF Ugh, that's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> How many have gone and come? Okay, go through all this nonsense again. Yeah, something, something, bristle call. Gimme. <laughs> At last. <laughs> At last we fit mace to mace. You half-wit human. Why is it that I get the impression this guy's lines would make more sense in the Japanese, but... Now I don't know. I'll teach you a moron. Arrow thoughts. I mean, a lesson you won't forget. And triggered boss battle. With like, no heals, no health. Let's see, intimidate. Well, that backfired spectacularly. And took almost all my health, okay. Oh boy, and cursed. Can't run from boss battles, I bet. Let's try that. Didn't think so. Well, the curse makes it even... And game over screen. Is there any kind of continue thing, or is it just gonna go full JRPG on me? The party members follow the battle. Gold's get... Okay. Chimera Wing. I had one of those. I don't know how to... Oh, come on. I couldn't find that in the inventory, I just have no idea where it went. Boss battle's like, yeah, you've found my big item, now I'm going to kill you. It's like, okay then, hide your big item better. Okay. Great goddess, may, may you watch over and protect this poor child. This increasingly poor child who has less money now. It's like you'd think, though, you know, with people with these big fancy items and stuff, you know, they're trying to hide in places, you know, if they do a better job of hiding them, putting them somewhere, like, actually innocuous, then they wouldn't have to hire these, these big top-level thugs or construct horrible monstrosities or guard monsters, whatever. Okay, let's see, we got... Let's see, da-da-da... Yeah, go ahead and grab a few of these. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't even know how to access the bag. So it's the, the Chimera Wing is in the bag. I don't even know how to access the bag. Let's see how many... Oh, here we go. There's how you up the, the total. Okay.
Poffy is a vital fish monster battling tool. Drawn butter would be useful, too. Okay, come on. Out of the menu. This is a weird game. The uh, cancel is on triangle, not circle. So circle acts like a second confirm button. Really weird. Okay, the hell? Uh, yeah, it's getting a... Holy crap, it is 619. Wow. Um, yeah, I've actually got a little bit of stuff to do, and now very little time to do it in. So, mm, yeah, I'm going to have to call it on this. I'll probably play this on another, like, just, you know, one-off day. Kind of screw around with it one more time. But yeah, I'm going to have to... Oh! Oh, welcome back, Alaskan Emily! <laughs> Long time no see. There you go. Oh, ah! Oh, Mike. I'm good. Yeah, my hundredth, uh, <laughs> hundredth episode. It was, uh, it's, it's fun just dipping into these demos. Um, gives me some ideas though. Going forward though, it's been. Oh, this disc. This disc was just uh, Dragon Quest Eight, but the other one was all PlayStation stuff. It's just been really fun having. A quick look in at these demos. It's kind of it's gonna give me some ideas going forward. I wanna I wanna pick up that awful Soul of the Samurai game if it's pretty cheap. Um, I also want to pick up some other some other of the good stuff. And at some point, I'll probably fire up Air Guys just to go through arcade mode. Probably a little bit of the RPG mode. I don't know how long that goes if it's endless or not. But given the time. Holy crap, I have got to call it. I am super late on some things. So, thanks again, y'all. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for hearing me rambling. And thanks for bearing with the technical difficulties. Yeah, refurbishing machine would be great. Um, but yeah, I, I have got to go ahead and bail. I will be back tomorrow with... God, was it? Front Mission 3. And same time as usual... And next weekend, I resume schedule as normal, but I've, I've got to go. Whoa, crap. Ah. Um, yeah, I probably should have been switching over screens while saying that, but thanks again, y'all, and I'll see you when I see you. Um, later.